Hi friends, greetings to all of you my friends. I greet everyone of you. I want you to listen very attentively to what I'm about to say. There's this revelation I want to give as a message. I'm talking of revelation I received about 2023. Listen to me and God is going to bless you. Though, as I'm going to reveal to you what that has been revealed to me, it's a message and a warning from God. You may thought I'm politically, but not all that politically. But I want to tell you the truth about the 2023. As we're about to leave 2022, to enter 2023, there is this message and warning. As I read the scripture, Exodus 2023, the Bible said, Remember, you must not make any idol of silver or gold to revile me. You must not make idol of silver or gold to revile me. That is message and a warning to you. Come 2023, many are going to be deceived with silver and gold. Many are going to be misled with silver and gold. But the scripture is saying in Exodus, as we're about to exist from 2022 to 2023, in Exodus, the Bible said, Exodus 2023, that you should remember this. You must not make any idol of silver and gold. Don't make anything idol, more especially silver and gold. Many will be deceived with that. And once we leave uh, um, 2023, come 20, as we leave 2022, come 2023, God has a message for us. The Bible said in the Levitical 2023, do not live according to the custom of the people I am driving out before you. It is because that they do these shameful things that I detest them. Because they do these shameful things. God is about to drive out before you those ones that follow the customs that is against the Lord of God. And he said, as I'm about to drive them, in Leviticus 2023, he said that you should not live according to their custom because of shameful act they have done. That's why I detect them. This is a message from God and a warning. It's all about 2023. Exodus 2023 and Leviticus 2023. Read your Bible. As I'm reading the Bible, and I discover that how God has a good plan about this 2023. When he's talking of idol, when he's talking of the custom of the evil ones that is going to drive them out. And God have decided to tell us or inform us the road to follow. And when I'm sorry, saying the road to follow, there is a road we are all to follow. Come this 2023. You no, know, we have many political parties. We have them. Many of them are there. I'm not going to call any political party. But God wants to reveal a political party to us. And that political party, the Bible said in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together, as my followers, I am there among them. For where two or three are gathered, as my followers, I am there among them. That is the word of God. That is the word of God. Go through the logo of those political parties. You know where God is leading us. You know what God is saying about. And God has said everything there. That's why if you look into the scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, and God said, For this end, for this end, we are coming to the end of this 2022. And we are coming to the end of tribulation. And we are coming to the end of evil doers. And that's why I will say in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, For to this end, I also wrote, that I, may, I might put you to the test whether you are obedient in all things. Are you obedient in all things? That is the scripture. Are you obedient in all things? And God also wants to remember in good states. This government, present government, believe that a good state is in the hands of God. Yes, it's in the hands of God. But our promised land has been denied from us. But God wants to lead us to the promised land to our Eden. And that's why God decided to bring out the Eden organized. Though it is called a organized, but it is the Eden organized. It's coming to organize the Eden of any state. And it, the Bible said that, Jesus said, Peter, you are the rock. You are the rock. We are going to build my church. That is Peter. That God is going to show us in any state that God is about to build his rock upon this Peter. My brother, vote wisely. Thank you all. God bless you.